Hello. In this video, we will be looking at setting the maximum white ink. You need different amounts of white ink for different garments, not just because they are lighter or darker. With different manufacturers of garments, you will find you need to print different amounts of white ink to get a good opaque white. And some manufacturers garments are really not suitable. These two shirts were printed with the same pretreatment and same settings. So it's very important before you start to make sure you work with high quality shirts that are suitable for DTG. Check with your dealer for recommendations if you're not sure. Too much white ink can also cause issues with ink bleed and white speckles occurring after the heat press. In the Q menu, you will see an option to set maximum white ink. In the first screen, you select the page size or bed size that you, you are using on your printer. You can select your own graphics or you can use one of our test pages. Our test pages can be found in RIP system targets. Select the size you would like to print the variations on the shirt. And on the right hand side, it will show you the number of variations. Click Next. In the next dialog, first select the print mode you want to use for printing the white ink. The default setting will be the currently selected Q option. If you're printing the white ink as a separate pass from color, you should use a print mode called underbase. Higher resolutions put more ink down but print slower. Now select the range and the number of variations you want. In this case, we are printing 40% to 100% in steps of 20. So we will print 40, 60, 80, and 100 as variations. Click Print Max White Ink to create the chart in the queue. Then you can go to the queue and print the page as normal. Once you've printed the output, you will be able to select the one you prefer. Then you can enter the value in the preferred dialog. You can then click Finish, or you can run the black removal for black shirts, or the Setup White Under Black for color shirt cues.